apologize for the lighting, guys. Um, it's really gloomy out. I look a lot lighter than I actually am. But if I make the, if I change the camera settings, then everything will look too dark. So yeah, yeah, it, it looks, no big deal. Okay, anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shalay, and every year I try to come up with my own little list of goals that I want to accomplish by the end of that year. Right now, as I'm filming this video, it's the last day of 2018, the very last day of the year. And I don't know, I'm a very symbolic person, so like when it become when it comes to like New Year's, like that means a lot to me. I feel like it's a nice, uh, fresh start. Um, I know a lot of people say, why wait till the New Year to change, but in my opinion, it's the best time because it's all this new energy around surrounding the new year. It's a whole brand new year, like starting all over again from from number one, from day one. To me, that's the perfect time to start something new, to pick up new habits. I don't know, to, to try and conquer new goals. Like I love coming up with a list at the beginning of the year every year. I've been doing it since I was like 15 and I'm, I'll am i be 23 in February, so uh, you know, it works for me. Um, even if I don't accomplish every goal on my list, if I can at least get like three off the list, that's that's good enough for me by the end of the year. But usually I can um, kind of get almost every one of my goals um, accomplished. I think it's more, it's you have to be realistic about your goals and you have to know yourself to know like, okay, what am I going to do this year? And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, it could be something small like um, learn a new song on the guitar. It could be um, draw more, even if you're not good at drawing. You could just want to draw more. It could be some simple stuff like that. Go outside, just step outside on the porch every day. Just breathe in some fresh air once a day. So coming up with New Year's goals doesn't have to be something difficult. You don't have to like be like, oh, I'm going to be a whole brand new person by the end of the year because that's really difficult to do. You know, you don't set too high of goals for yourself. 2018 was such a weird year for me. I don't know if it was, it was good and it was bad. Like it had its good, good things about it because it taught me a lot. But then it was, it was just bad because I just felt like I was miserable the whole time and I really don't want that for next year. I don't want to feel like I'm miserable and I hate my life. But yeah, so anyways, the purpose of this video is to share with you guys some of my goals for the next year. I just wanted to give this video like that cozy feel, so I decided to just wear my robe and I have my hot chocolate here that's getting a little cold. <laughs> Let's talk about goals. They're in no particular order. I just kind of wrote them down as they came to mind. So number one, I want to journal more. Um, I started writing in journals when I was, I think, 14 or 15. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm really bad with words. I'm bad at expressing how I feel. Like when I was younger, I would just kind of lash out and just like kick things. I would throw things, break things until I felt better. And that was my way of dealing with things. And then I don't know, around 14, 15, I just was like, I started writing out how I felt and it felt so much better to get everything. It felt good to be able to get everything out and just write it down on paper and then like nobody else would see it. So I would just be like writing whatever I want in the journal. It's cool because it, it's your journal. You can do whatever you want in it. You can draw if you don't feel like writing out words. I had a different journal like every year and I love going back and reading like how I felt. Some of it is not that great to read but it's nice that I was able to get it out and it's nice to see how much you've grown throughout the years. Last year I, f I feel like I finally fell off of journaling. I would put it to the side. I would want to journal but I would always put it to the side I'd be like okay I don't have to write about it today I can write about it tomorrow but then like tomorrow comes and you don't feel the same as you felt so you can't write out how you felt yesterday I don't like talking to people about how I feel a lot so writing it down in a journal really helps me my second goal is to reconnect with nature and this may this is gonna sound super lame it's like a weird tippy or something but I love nature I love trees I love flowers I love butterflies I love birds I love all the stuff outside I love the dirt everything I just love it I've said this before in one of my videos I'm a very like I'm not religious, but I'm kind of more spiritual, where like I talk to the universe and stuff like that. I'll talk to the moon, I'll talk to the sun, I'll talk to trees in my in my head, obviously. I'm not out I'm not going outside having a full-on conversation with a tree, but in my head I'll be like, hi trees, you guys look beautiful, and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm I'm weird like that. But um when I was in college I used to go on little nature walks all the time and just like I would find a nice tree, and just sit under it, or I would go out and look for rocks or look for acorns and I would pick up pine cones and stuff like that. And I don't know, it just makes me happy being out with nature and being outside, feeling the wind and just like touching the grass. It just makes me happy. I don't care if it's weird to other people. I love nature. And it's proven, one of my teachers one time, my English teacher told me that it's proven that nature helps calm people down and that's what it definitely does for me. So sometimes I'll just stare outside. I'll just stare at the trees and I'll just watch the leaves blow back and forth. And I just love it. I, I just love nature. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm a city girl, but I love, 
I love nature. <laughs> I have the same goal on here twice, I just realized that. My goal number three is to upload at least two videos a week. I want to get more consistent, one, at least uploading one video a week, and then eventually turn that into doing two videos a week. And I know I can do it if I just um, put my foot down and stop being such a procrastinator. I can do that. The only thing I'm worried about is running out of ideas, but um, that's what the internet's for. I could always do like one specific type of video a week, and then I could always do one just random video a week. It could always be like one different thing. So maybe I'll do something like that. Number four is to stop putting so much stress on myself. All year in 2018, I felt like I was just stressing out over every little thing. I was stressed out because I felt bad about not being consistent on YouTube or social media. I felt really stressed out about work all the time, not being able to get things done because of work and just being tired because of work. I don't know. I just felt like I was super stressed out all year and it wasn't fun. And on top of the stress from work, I was putting more pressure on top of myself because I was like, you're not a good social media person. Why are you even a YouTuber in the first place? We're not going to make videos and leave everybody hanging. I don't know. I just felt terrible. I'm the type of person where if I tell people I'm going to do something I want to be able to do and I hate canceling on people and I hate not being able to do what I tell people I'm going to do, then I end up putting way more pressure on myself and I tell myself that that person's going to hate me and that person doesn't like me and my friend anymore. Whatever. I put so much stress on myself and... I just well, I just know I need to stop doing that to myself because it's not fair. I wouldn't do it to my friends. I wouldn't do it to my family. So why do I do it to myself? I don't. I don't know. It's so easy to take frustrations out on yourself. And next year I just don't want to do that. It, if I don't reach a certain goal or something like that, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I'm just gonna tell myself that there's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow to get something done. And if you die, then it doesn't matter because then you don't have to worry about goals when you're dead. <laughs> Goal number five is to be more artistic slash creative. I am a creative person. Um, I think I have been ever since I was a kid. I used to draw all the time. I want to create more things. Like, I feel like I don't, I don't know. Even playing guitar, playing uke. I remember I made up that song for my best friend. I just kind of, I was just up late at night and I, that just kind of came to my mind and I just did that. I want to do more stuff like that. I want to play my guitar more. I want to play my uke more. I want to come up with stupid little songs. I want to draw. I want to do, I want to take beautiful pictures, I want to make nice videos. I love making video collages, my collages with the music in the background, that's one of my favorite things to do. I'm definitely going to do more of those here. Number six is kind of tied in with number five, it's to play my guitar and my ukulele more, like I was saying. When I got my ukulele, the first time I could not put it down. I was going through a bunch of my old videos on my channel and on my phone, and a lot of them had my guitar in it. I was like, oh, I miss playing my guitar. I, I picked it up recently and I didn't know what to do. I think all I can remember how to do is make a G chord. My fingers was hurting because my calluses are gone now. I just, I want to be more, I want to pick up my guitar more. I miss playing guitar. And I have a bunch of bookmarks on my laptop of songs that I was like, I'm gonna learn one day. And songs that I was actually able to play without looking. And I can't do that anymore. I want to be able to do that. I want skills. Like, I want to be able to do things. I have oranges too. Goal number seven is to not get upset so easily. I have a problem where I do this thing where I get upset first, I get really upset, then then I isolate myself from everyone, and then I'm stuck in my own thoughts, and I'm thinking about like what I was upset about, what I could have said or done differently, how I could have handled the situation differently, and then I feel like blew up so fast for no reason, it didn't even have to be like that. My goal is to basically just th to think it out first and then react and not react first, because that's what I always do. I always overreact and then I realize you did all that for no reason. You could have just saved all that energy. I was so dramatic. I'm such a baby. Liam calls me a brat all the time, and I just. I am. So I think I'm working at it. <laughs> also, I put slash hold grudges. Um, I don't really hold grudges, but I just. I hold on to how I feel at the moment. Like, it takes me a while to get to that point where I realize to overreact it because I'm so. I'm so. How I feel. I feel like, oh, my feelings are valid. I am allowed to feel like this. This is how I feel, and I want everybody to know how I feel. That's how I am. So I, I hold on to that feeling instead of just letting it go and just not being upset. Does that make sense? Number eight is to don't let social anxiety hold me back. I feel like all year I've been saying I have social anxiety. That's why I'm doing this. I have social anxiety. I can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I've said social anxiety so many times. I'm starting to hate the words. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody around me probably is too, but like... I don't know, it's something I've been dealing with my whole life and I feel like if I made it this far having social anxiety then you know I can I can get further. I don't have to use it as an use it as an excuse all the time. I just need to recognize that I have it and that I need to figure out a way how I'm gonna get through a situation with it, you know? Instead of being like, Oh, I can't do that because I have social anxiety, I need to be like, How 
can I work with my social anxiety to get me through this situation? How can I calm it down? How can I bring my social anxiety down and not just indulge in it? Because I feel like once I, when every time I'm like, oh, I have social anxiety, I can't do that. And I'm always thinking about how I have social anxiety. And I start thinking about that. And then it just kind of makes me even more anxious instead of just being like, instead of just not thinking about it. Because that's what I, for a while, I just didn't think about it. I just put the anxiety in the back of my mind. And I was just kind of like, okay, I have it, but that doesn't matter. I can do whatever I want. Even though I have social anxiety, I can still do whatever I want. Um, but I feel like this year, I just kind of used it. I used it as a shield. I kind of just hid behind it. Like, I have, social, I have social anxiety. Put up the social anxiety shield, and I'm just going to hide behind that and stay there. That's in my safe spot. I want it to just be a part of me, but I don't want to have to hide behind it, you know? Number nine is to let go of things slash declutter. So I mean, like, actual, physical, tangible things. Let go of. I'm such a hoarder. Like, not really. I'm like a low-key hoarder. I just have so much stuff throughout the years. Like, I have stuff from my childhood still that I, that serves no purpose to me, but I'm holding on to it because it was a part of my childhood. That's a hoarder for you. I'm not like a super hoarder. I just have a bunch of, like, stuff. I have so much stuff. I have stuff here at Liam's house. I have stuff at home that just kind of, like, takes up space, and I really don't need it, and I could get rid of it, but I've just kind of been like, okay, one day I'll get rid of all that junk, but today's not the day. I think next year I kind of just want to get I just want to get everything I just want to declutter and get rid of things and like I just feel like I'll be able to breathe once I do that finally number 10 my goal for next year is I forgot <laughs> number 10 is to work more and play less and what I mean by that is like I'm such a procrastinator I'm always like oh I'll do one hour of work and that and then I'll spend like five hours playing sims how does that how does that make sense how i mean i justified it before because i had a full-time job so when i would come home i would just eat i would just i would just play around instead of working on like filming or editing my youtube videos or or shooting photos for my instagram or stuff like that or like um listing clothes on my depop or my um poshmark i would be like oh i've worked eight hours all day i, I deserve to play sims for till midnight i deserve to stay up all night watching movies and playing tv and stuff like that um i deserve to have to like waste my weekends away i don't want to do that next year because like if i want to be like a youtuber and an internet influencer as a full-time job then i need to pr i need to act like it's a full-time job so yeah next year that's what i'm definitely gonna do i'm gonna definitely do way more work with my channel way more work with my social media account my goal should be to talk better <laughs> see And then I have just some bonus ones that basically carried over from last year. I don't like to have the same repeat goals, but I have some bonus ones that kind of need to be. The first one is more adventures. I want to get out more. I want to do more things. I want to stop spending so much time in the house. I want to be outside doing things. I want to try new things. I want to go new places. Even if it might sound boring, I kind of want to do it anyway. Number two is the same as it was up here. That's why I said I had wrote the same goal twice. It was post two videos a week. So I wrote that twice without realizing it. Number three is to get my license. I need to get my license. I need my license. I need it. I need my license. I'm gonna be 23. I need to drive. I need to start driving. I just wanna be able to get in my car and go to Target and spend eight hours at Target if I want to. Number four, move out. I wanna move out of my house. I don't wanna be at home anymore. There's just too many people living in that house. It's too crowded and I want my own space. I think I'm, I'm at that point in my life where I just need my own area. I need my own space. I need to be away from people. I love my family, but I need to be away from them. <laughs> and then number five is to get at least three more tattoos. That was my goal for last year, was to get some more tattoos, and I have not gotten one tattoo all year, I don't think. Did I, get, I don't even remember when, when did I get my Zoe tattoo, I don't even think that was last year, I think that was in 2017. I wanted to get a tattoo before the end of the year, today's the last day of the year, so. I want tattoos, I want all the tattoos. So that was all 10 of my goals for 2019, I'm really excited for the new year, I'm always excited for the new year, um, you never know what's gonna happen. Um, as much as I dreaded last year, I still really appreciate the year. It was like a learning year for me, definitely. I want next year to be, still be learning, but I want it to be more of an experience year. Not just like sitting around taking in information. I want to go, I want to be out experiencing things next year. So yeah, definitely let me know some of your guys' goals for next year. If, if you have any, let me know if you don't have any goals. If you just go into the new year and letting whatever happened happen. Um, do you believe in New Year's resolutions or not? I definitely do, but um, let me know what you guys all think about this video. Is it cliche to come up with resolutions or not? Um, just let me know. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all next year. Stay cool, stay good, dudes. And here's to 2019. I'm so excited. <laughs>